civil attorney has sent a letter to the state attorney's office in the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office demanding they drop charges against 18-year-old Virgilio Aguilar Mendez. He's accused of manslaughter and the death of Sergeant Deputy Michael Kunovich. They got into a confrontation in May when Sergeant Kunovich reported a suspicious person standing outside a closed business in St. Augustine. There was a struggle, and after trying to search him and detain Aguilar Mendez, Kunovich collapsed. He later died at the hospital. News for Jack supporter Marilyn Parker joining us with details on the demand letter and an online petition for Aguilar Mendez's release. In seven days, more than 450,000 people signed this petition for Virgilio Aguilar Mendez to be released. The 18-year-old Guatemalan man has been sitting in jail for nearly eight months. No, no, Stop! No, no. Stop! It was no, after no. this incident no, involving a St. John's County Sheriff Deputy Michael Kunovich. The body cam video shows about an eight-minute struggle, and shortly after, Sergeant Kunovich dies from a cardiac dysrhythmia the result of damaged arteries and high blood pressure. Aguilar Mendez is eventually charged in his death. Now, his civil attorney is demanding the state attorney's office to drop the charges. They sent this demand letter to the state attorney, the sheriff's office, and the St. Johns County Board of Commissioners Friday. They argue St. Johns County Sheriff's Office blatantly and maliciously violated their client's civil and constitutional rights. They accused Sergeant Kunovich of racially profiling, saying he approached Aguilar Mendez solely because of his Hispanic Latino ethnicity without any reasonable suspicion of any crime. They also say Kunovich illegally stopped him and immediately seized him. Stop. Based on the medical examiner's ruling on the cause of death, the attorneys say Sergeant Kunovich's irregular heartbeat was an unknown condition not foreseeable to anyone and that Florida law enforcement officers are only required to undergo a medical exam before they become officers, but don't have to do yearly blood and stress tests to determine if their heart is strong enough to do the job. We asked the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office if their deputies have frequent medical checkups or physicals, and if so, how many a year. They said there are no responsive documents to my request. So not only do the civil attorneys want the charges dropped, they want a full public retraction by the sheriff's office, saying Aguilar Mendez was never trespassing and that the charges against him are not supported by law and Kunovich violated multiple departmental guidelines in trying to detain him. So Marilyn, has there been any response from the sheriff's office or the state attorney about this case? So I'm still waiting to hear back from the state attorney's office. However, the sheriff's office did let me know that they didn't want to respond to any correspondence from that attorney. Now the demand letter said it would give them seven days to respond. And if they don't, the attorneys will file a federal lawsuit based on these civil rights violations. And of course, we'll be here to recover it all. Yeah, <laughs> two sides of the story, and that's what we keep pursuing is what those sides are. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you. Always. Thanks, Marilyn.